This is my favorite burger spot in LA. It's called Easy Street Burgers. I got a double, it's a smash burger, so the patties are super, super thin with cheese and grilled onions and their secret sauce on top, and it's so good every time. And then for the fries, I got their wild fries, which is basically the same exact thing on the burger, but on fries. And in my opinion, this is better than in and outs animal style fries. I'm not sorry about it. The bun is like a potato bun that's so soft. Everything about this burger is beautiful, and they take their time making it. It's made to order, it's so good. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you always gotta get extra sauce on the side take your burger and dip it and then for the wild fries here we go <laughs> big bite <laughs> mm -hmm. oh my god i've been craving these you can never be too saucy only try it if you haven't. I got Chipotle, but I was talking to a friend the other day about what he should get from Chipotle, and I told him to get chips with his bowl, and he was flabbergasted by the idea of eating chips with his bowl. And then I realized that not everybody uses their chip to dip their bowl. This is just dip. I also saw Gabby the other day rip open her chips like that. That didn't work out very well. Just to make for easier access, so. And I feel like my life is different now. Look at this beautiful thing. This is a salad bowl with white rice, black beans, chicken, mild salsa, because their hot salsa's gotten so spicy. And then cheese, extra sour cream, guac, and lettuce. The last time I made just a casual video about Chipotle like this, I was shaming those who mix, mixers. Come to find out, I'm actually a mixer myself. I've realized that if I want the full experience of uh, dipping my chip into the bowl, I kind of have to mix, I'm forced to. So here is perfect bite, here we go, bismillah. Mm. I genuinely feel like I used to have Chipotle maybe once or twice a month before I started eating them like this. I think the chip genuinely just makes the whole experience a lot better. When the employee went to give me my chips, she accidentally dropped the bag on the floor. But then she just picked it up and put it in my bag anyway. And I'm too shy to say anything. I was like, I'll take a few broken chips. It's whatever. <laughs> but honestly, they turned out pretty all right. I don't think there was a lot of damage. However... The chips are a little stale. Oh, <laughs> never mind. This is even better than usual today. I am so easily influenced. I have a love-hate relationship with my For You page because I see a lot of food, which is great and all, but then I crave the food and then I get the food. Let me show you what I got. This first thing, oh, this is the dessert, but these are the cinnamon twists. I think Domino's has one of the best desserts that any fast food restaurant has. You already know, I got an extra thing of icing because it's never enough. And then I got their garlic knots, which are absolutely my favorite appetizers that they have. They're so buttery and good. And then I'm very basic, very boring, but I got medium pizza with extra cheese. They used to get this pizza in my high school all the time. I think it was like every Wednesday or every Monday or something. So I always knew I had that to look forward to on that school day. Here we go. Mm. The only thing that would make this better is a garlic dipping sauce and I forgot to ask for one. Their pizza is just such a classic. Do you guys eat the crust? Because we need to talk if not. And then the garlic knots. Look at that butter. Here we go. I haven't had Domino's in months and I love when I kind of forget what something tastes like and then I enjoy it all over again. Mm. Finally, dessert. Look at this thing. Oh. Look, so much cinnamon at the bottom. Do you see that? There's like a whole block <laughs> anyway this is fire and i'm happy and you should get yourself dominoes this weekend i got jack in the box again because the last time i got their tacos a lot of the comments were telling me that the mini ones are superior so we'll see i also was told to try their avocado lime sauce and then of course i couldn't resist i had to get their best menu item that i've tried yet which is their curly fries the curly fries are just too good so the mini tacos fit in here. I know they're supposed to be mini, but I think it's so cute. I didn't think they were actually this small. This is the regular buttermilk house ranch. I'm gonna take one of the 
mini tacos and dip it in here. Ooh. I mean, I think it tastes the exact same. There's no lettuce in this one though, but I really appreciate how fun it is to eat. I'm gonna try it with their creamy avocado lime sauce. Ooh. Oh, let's see. There's something in this that I'm not in love with. I don't know what it is. I'm not really a fan of that one. I'm just gonna stick to the ranch. I also forgot to say, I got their onion rings because I wanted to try them. <gasps> Look at these. Out of all the fast food places, I think Burger King has the best onion rings, but these are a close second. Onion ring in the ranch. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's fast food, it's not life-changing, but I'm really happy with this meal. I got chilies and I got probably their best menu item. I'm gonna give you a second to take a guess at what it is. I got the three for 10, which is an incredible deal for how good chilies is. This sounds like a promo, I promise it's not. But for the drink, I got a strawberry lemonade. For the appetizer, I got chips and salsa. And if you're getting anything else, you're making a mistake. And then for the main course, if you haven't guessed it already, it's their honey chipotle chicken crispers. Look at that sauce. People like to talk about Wingstop Ranch. Yeah, what about Chili's Ranch, guys? I'm gonna start with the chips and salsa. I wanna show you the salsa, but I also don't wanna spill it. Mmm. I don't typically drink anything of my food except for water, but I'm gonna try this. It's okay. And now for the main event, which comes with fries, which are so good, and then the corn. I'm gonna try the fries with the ranch first. Mm-hmm. They drenched this in sauce. I cannot tell you how happy I am. Mmm, mm, 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 mm. mm. I'm gonna try something. I have some leftover Wingstop Ranch in my fridge. I'm gonna see which one I like better. I think the Chili's Ranch just complements this meal better. Anyway, this is your sign to get Chili's if you have it in a minute. I wanted to show you guys real quick that I got Crab Rangoons again from Panda Express and I'm so excited. I hope they're so crispy. I'm using their sweet and sour sauce. It's my favorite. I usually ask for extra. I put some on this crab rangoon. Bismillah. Mmm. Oh my god, I forgot how much I like these. This is so good. It's like sweet and salty all at the same time. And then I also got, obviously, the best thing that Panda Express has, their orange chicken with white rice. I usually get noodles or fried rice, but I was feeling the white rice today. Mm -hmm. Also, do you guys typically eat rice with a fork or a spoon? Because in my culture, we eat it with a spoon, which I feel like makes a lot more sense for these small grains. So good. I got food from this place called the Great White Hut, and I got a quesadilla and nachos, and I haven't even looked at it. So let's open it together because it smells amazing. All right, these are the quesadillas. They threw some like guac on the cardboard box in there. And then these are carne asada nachos. Oh my gosh, they loaded this bad boy up. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna start with the nachos. I don't even know where to go with this. Bismillah. Mm hmm Oh, spicy. I did choose for it to be spicy, but I guess I didn't realize how spicy. Mmm. We'll take some over here with the guac. And then this is a chicken quesadilla. I'm gonna go into the guac a little bit. Mmm. But whoever came up with the concept of quesadillas knew what they were doing because you can't mess this up. Mmm. These nachos though, I'm gonna be thinking about this for the rest of the week. Also, I'm literally streaming right now and took a quick break to come film this video, but I'm gonna continue eating this on twitch.tv slash Lucky Eats. If you wanna come hang, I'm playing Valorant and eating nachos. I'm gonna have to use my fork so I don't get my keyboard all dirty. 
I got ice cream inside of a glazed donut. This place is called Afters. Their best selling flavor is the Cookie Monster flavor, which is kind of like a cookies and cream flavor. And then I added sprinkles to it, which now I'm thinking may have been too much, but it's cold. I thought the donut would be a little warm, but I'm gonna try it. Biting into an ice cream has never felt so wrong. Honestly, it tastes exactly like how you would imagine. Mm. I'm a big fan of like cookie ice cream sandwiches, so I wanted to see if this would take it to the next level. I think I still do prefer ice cream cookie sandwiches. However, the sprinkles on this actually add a perfect amount of texture. I saw someone on my For You page eating Pizza Hut and dipping their pizza in ranch. And the next thing I knew, Pizza Hut was at my door. I got their burning hot buffalo wings and then I got cinnamon sticks because there's no way you can order Pizza Hut and not get dessert. And then this is the actual pizza, obviously. It's half and half because my mom and I like very different things. I believe that pizza should be left alone with just extra cheese on top. My mom clearly thinks otherwise. <laughs> I'm so excited to see these. They look a bit underwhelming. But I'm excited to dip them in ranch because that's literally the only part that matters. So yeah. Ignore what I said about them looking underwhelming. These are so good. This is exactly what I needed. Mmm. Now for the pizza. We got stuffed crust, which I think is the best thing that Pizza Hut has ever had to offer. I'm gonna go ahead and dunk it into my ranch. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway, go get yourself a cheese pizza and dip it in some ranch. Totally forgot I had dessert. I know they're also partnered with like Cinnabon, and Cinnabon is my favorite dessert place in the world. So I hope these aren't underwhelming. <laughs> We're good. These are perfect. Running out of daylight, so the flash is gonna do. But I went to Mochi Nut, I got Mochi Donuts, and I got a Hot Cheetos Korean corn dog, which I've been so intrigued by this because I see it all the time on my For You page. So I hope there's a cheese pull. I think it's really hot. Let's try it. Oh my god. <laughs> I've had the ones with potatoes on the outside before, and it's just not as good as this. I see the appeal. These are the donuts I got, horchata flavor. The one below it is churro. This is a Biscoff one and then a chocolate. I really wanna try the chocolate one. The texture of these mochi donuts never fail to amaze me. It's literally some of the best dessert I've ever had. The horchata one. Mmm. And then the Biscoff. Lotus is my favorite flavor of anything, so I really hope I love this. Mm-hmm. Overall, highly recommend this place. Try Motina if you haven't. I've gathered you all here on a historic day. I'm eating Indian food that isn't butter chicken for once in my life. So this is korma. Obviously, I got the vegetable samosas because I can't do it without it. This is chicken korma, and then this is paneer tikka masala. So it's similar to stuff I've already had before. I know that I'm going to like it no matter what, but I'm actually trying something new, so I'm really excited. They both smell incredible. I'm going to try with the korma. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Mmm, that one has chicken in it. This one has paneer, which is a type of cheese. I'm gonna try just the curry first. You can't go wrong with this. What I didn't realize is how spicy I ordered this. I'm struggling a little bit. I have a piece of the paneer in here. Mmm. It melts in your mouth. I think I prefer this to the chicken if I'm being honest. I'm gonna push through the pain because this is so worth it. I just realized I never took a bite of these. Mm. 10 out of 10 worth the pain. This is Falafel Inc. I got a falafel sandwich today and they're known for their zatar fries, but to be honest with you, I've never liked zatar, but I'm gonna try it because I feel like I have to. Listen, the texture of the fries is amazing, okay? 
I'm just not, I'm not a Zatar girly. So I'm gonna give these to my mom. This is the Falafel Raf. It smells really good and it's nice and compact. I like the size. So the falafel itself tastes really good. It reminds me of home, but the bite I took was a little dry, so I'm glad I got extra sauce. This is their tahina or tahini. Mm. Mm -hmm. Once you get the veggies in there, it really is the perfect bite. This is their habibi sauce. I want to try this one as well. I think it's a little spicy. Mmm. They also already put red sauce in there, so it definitely has a bite to it, but this is also the garlic sauce. This is the last one I'm gonna try. That is prime Middle Eastern cuisine. Overall, I highly recommend this sandwich, but the sauces definitely do elevate the experience, so don't leave without the sauces, especially the tahini. I'm trying Raisin Cane's to see if the hype is worth it. I got the box combo. It comes with four tenders, fries, and the Texas toast. <sighs> it smells really good. The fries look a little unseasoned i know the hype is all in the sauce so i got two and i also asked for the toast to be buttered on both sides i saw that on tiktok so i'm gonna try this first mm. wow i feel like i shouldn't have started with this because now my standards are really high i'm gonna try it with the sauce mm. that sauce is a lot tangier than i thought let's try the fries The texture is really good. I wouldn't eat them on their own though. Finally, the tender. I'm gonna try on its own first. Oh. 10 out of 10 on the crunch. The flavor is pretty good, but I feel like the sauce is definitely gonna elevate it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can see why people like this so much. At the end of the day, the sauce just kind of reminds me of a thousand islands, but I see why people like it so much. It's just a bit too sweet for me, but I would definitely come back here again. I don't think I've had a homemade sandwich since like middle school and I'm 22 years old, about to be 23. So I wanted to share this moment with you guys because look at this. Mmm. This is officially a new fixation. I'm trying the tres leches cake from Porto's. I got lucky because today is my mom's hijri birthday. So it was two in one. I got to use this as an excuse. So I have a little happy birthday plaque on it. I love that they put this in this little container. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to open it through the sides, but I'm gonna attempt to. I feel like it'll just give me better access and give you guys a better view. Look at that, that looks so good. Okay. I see why they put it in the container now. It's really milky. I'm gonna take a bite from this side so you can see what I'm getting, what I'm working with. Oh my God. I'm gonna use a spoon so I can get more of the milk. Mmm. This is so much better than the tres leches that I've had before in my life and I would highly recommend it. As you can probably already tell, I'm trying Porto's Bakery today. I'm so excited. Porto's is a Cuban bakery that started in the 70s by this woman right here. I believe her name is Rosa. And they are very well known for both their savory and sweet treats, but I'm gonna start with the savory ones. I'm not really sure which is which, but I got, oh, I think this is the potato ball. So this one I think is stuffed with beef. Mmm, the texture is so important to me and that was the best part. It's also super creamy and there's a really good balance of potato to meat. Mm. This one is stuffed with cheese. It's pretty similar, I believe. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. I'm not really sure what kind of cheese in, is in here, but it's super distinct. I think I like the beef one better, but it was still really good. This one I'm looking forward to the most. I think it's called a croqueta. It's stuffed with chicken and cheese as well. Oh my god, 
This also has bechamel in it, which I love my pasta with bechamel, so I, that's why I was so excited, and it's perfect. This is their famous meat pies. That's what it looks like on the inside. Is it supposed to be cold? I think there's also some peppers on the inside. The flavor on this is fantastic. I think I even like it better than the original beef um, potato roll that I had. In this box, I have cheese rolls and a croissant just because I have to try a croissant anytime I go to a bakery. But this is what I see reviewed the most on TikTok, so I'm really excited about it because it's been hyped up. Mmm. The sweetness is super subtle. I think it's stuffed with their cream cheese and then it's coated with sugar lightly on the outside. The texture is beautiful. I would 100% come back just for this. Come with Sophia. <laughs> if nothing else, I highly recommend you come for the cheese roll. For dessert, I got a Napoleon cake, which looks amazing. And if you know me, you know that this is my absolute favorite dessert from anywhere ever. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this in the car. This was a bad idea, but here we go. I've had a lot of these in my life, and dare I say, this might be the one of the best. Go to Porto's Bakery if you haven't. You know the drill. Let's eat Indian food together. As usual, butter chicken, we got vegetable samosas, and my favorite part, the garlic naan. The tomato and chutney that came with the vegetable samosa. It's a lot darker than it was the last time, and it also feels like it might be crispier. I wish you could taste this right now. I usually ask for medium spice, but today I asked for it to be spicy. So let's see if it's way spicier than what I'm used to. Okay, it wasn't at first, but then it hit the back of my throat and it's pretty spicy, but nothing that I can't handle. It's so good though. Mmm. I hit 500k and there was no better way for me to celebrate than to eat the thing that has gotten me to where I am on TikTok. Look at that. If you've tried Indian food because of me, just remember that this is the most basic dish that you can possibly order and there's so much more that Indian cuisine has to offer. And I'm not doing a good job at representing it, so I'm going to try new things as soon as I can, I promise. I did order cheese naan though, which I don't think I've had before, at least not when it's looked like this. It's stuffed with cheese on the inside, so I'm going to try that with the butter chicken. Wow. It's definitely more filling, but I like it a lot. Also, they didn't give me rice, but thank you for watching. Bye. The wing craving is back. I got wing stop. I used to think Buffalo Wild Wings was the goat until I really started eating Wingstop. So we're starting with the Voodoo Fries. It has ranch, cheese, and Cajun seasoning on top. These are so good. They're low-key a little cold because I waited too long. Also, people told me to try it well done, which is like they just add cook time to it. I don't see a huge difference in the texture, but the flavor is still really good. The wings, I got half and half this time. I got half mango habanero classic and then half hot, which is their classic flavor, but boneless. I forgot to get extra ranch this time, so we're only working with two, which is not enough for me, but I'm gonna start with the hot. Oh my God. I would argue that the mango habanero is probably the best flavor they have. So if you like a little kick to your wings, I would highly recommend that one. The real question is, do you guys prefer flats or drums? I used to be a drums person, but I think I'm more of a flats person now. This meal never fails me. I got Randy's Donuts and it's probably one of the most famous donut places I've heard of in LA. It's been in numerous films. I think Iron Man was one of them. 
so let's see if it lives up to the hype this was probably the one that was sold out almost sold out it's like maple butter i think i can't remember i've never had anything like that oh my god i feel like i shouldn't have started with that one because now my expectations are all the way up here so we're just gonna go to like a chocolate glazed one mm, pretty good next i'm gonna try the pink sprinkles you know i always have to try a pink sprinkled donut the dough is really good and fluffy so i think i'm not being disappointed so far next is a maple donut I feel like I never really knew of maple donuts until like a couple months ago and I, a whole new world has been opened. This is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, obviously. Mm, a little stale and a little too sweet, but it's so good. This one's still my top. I wouldn't get the Cinnamon Toast Crunch again. The next one is matcha, but I got it for my mom. I'm not really gonna try it. I'm not a big fan of matcha. This one is a croissant donut, a krona, I think is what it's called. It's glazed. I think it's a tie between these two. I'm gonna devour this one, but I would come here. I haven't had Indian food in two weeks, so the best way to treat myself was to get it homemade. I literally drove an hour and a half to come see my friends at Cali Tardka because they make the best homemade Indian food. This is butter chicken, chicken, chicken tikka masala. They also gave me samosas. These are the samosas, and then of course, the chutney on the side, the tamarind. I am so excited to start. It's a vegetable samosa. Mm. oh my god this one is some sort of mint dip mm. wow i'm gonna try the butter chicken as you all know it's my absolute favorite dish mm. and then the chicken tikka masala too they also gave me garlic naan so i'm not done Are you kidding me here's the garlic naan they gave me i'm gonna dip it into the chicken tikka masala i'm in heaven right now the butter chicken as well mm. these are the chicken tikka masala fries let's try it mm. it's like sweet it's so good. Last but not least, this is the part that I would probably drive two hours every day for. This mango is so good. Guys, support small businesses. These people are incredible. They're in Riverside, California. You can order online through their Instagram. I'll put their at in the caption. I'm finally trying the halal, guys. I've been told about it so many times. I think it originated in New York and it was just a food truck and it was super popular and expanded all the way to California. I got a combo meal with chicken and beef. There's rice underneath. I added hummus, olives, there's lettuce, tomatoes, pita bread, and then their infamous white sauce on the top. So I don't even know where to start. Mm. This is so incredibly flavorful and a lot of the times I just wish to have something here that tastes like home. Mm. This tastes just like home. I'm going to mix in the um, lettuce, tomatoes, and then the hummus as well. I think technically you're supposed to mix the whole bowl together. That's somehow even better. I need to test out just their hummus on its own. Pretty solid. They're also known for their hot sauce. They even gave me a warning and let me know that it's really, really spicy. So I'm just gonna try that much. Oh, where is it? <coughs> it's definitely spicy. Tastes really good though. Last but not least, I got one of their lemonades. They had like six flavors. I got the pomegranate one. Mm. 
I had super low expectations for this and I was very pleasantly surprised. I would get the 